think more than anything, they're looking to fall in love with the brand. Uh, I think they're really, for me, I would say the biggest thing they're looking for is really value. Um, and value doesn't necessarily mean uh, money, but it means, it means, you know, are you really giving them something? You know, are you giving something, something tangible, whether it's an experience, whether you're in the service game and you're delivering them some amazing product. I think really, at the end of the day, it's value. Specifically, if, if I say, uh, from my perspective, being you know, in application development over a lot of different verticals, um, for me, I would say, really, it's less about branding and it's more about utility. Again, coming back to value, how can we really build something that, that customers really want to use and really love, rather than it just be some, some, maybe it's a content app or something silly like that, but really, can we build something that people really want to love, something that they really want to come back to, something that I guess, you know, when they, when they use it, they think, wow, this is incredible, I've got to tell my friends about it, you know, how, again, how can you really provide that value and build a utility that people really want to use? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of trends. Again, my experience comes from, from applications or from, from software. Uh, you know, big data, again, is something that's, that's pretty incredible and we're working, we're working on some really, really exciting projects in that space as well where, you know, being able to, to have all sorts of different data points about a certain consumer can give you a lot more power in terms of how you can customise uh, marketing and sales around that as well, so that's an important. Uh, another thing to think about as well is, I guess, the rise of mobile, the rise of tablet. Uh, again, it's a bit of a buzz, uh, a buzzword, but uh, you know, apps is is you know really the future, and we're seeing we're seeing a lot of disruption happen in a lot of different industries. Um, whether we're building technology to to help an industry, maybe sometimes we're working with entrepreneurs that are doing some really disruptive things and sort of you know sort of breaking the status quo. Uh, or in some cases maybe working with legacy companies and really figuring out how can they defend market share and sort of you know, not get disrupted by some of these entrepreneurs. So it's cool to sort of be across, uh, I guess, both side of, sides of the coins and see how things are happening in that regard. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very exciting to see sort of the rise of you know, software, I guess, rather than apps. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of really excited about that, that's for sure. I guess uh, in terms of tools, um, I mean, we have a lot of different things that we, we sort of provide to, to clients. and. Uh, you know, more around like white papers on certain things. We're working on a, uh, a white paper at the moment around habitual dependency. And it's really about how do, you, how do you really create a behavioral pattern in a user so that they constantly want to come back and use an app again and again. It's, it's really about how do you build psychological, psychological dependence. Um, but I think, you know, in terms of tools and resources, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff out there. I really love uh, some of the marketing automation blogs, uh, so HubSpot and uh, Marketo are doing some really cool stuff. And more than anything, I think it's really about customizing, again, the, the experience that or the touch points that you're having with, with your customer. And for me, that's everything, you know, that's, that is sales, you know, especially being able to educate and I guess use content marketing or inbound marketing in a way that, again, you're really delivering value. I keep on saying the word value, but I really think it does come back to that is how can you really deliver incredible value, you know, in your customers' lives. And I think when you can do that, you can do well. Uh, not that I you know, have a massive marketing budget or anything, but that's what I really believe.